I'm pleased to share this uh, devotional with you today. It's the last in our series on the love of God. The love of God is such a rich but also complex subject, and unfortunately it can get to be confused or obscured. Maybe it's more confusing now because of the regulations with the coronavirus quarantines, and maybe we feel a little more distant from people, and maybe our hearts just aren't positive because of the changes that we've been going through. But nonetheless, God is with us, brothers and sisters. He loves you, and he loves me. And his love forms the backdrop and the fabric of our lives as we walk through this world. Sometimes we're misled uh, by pop songs, too, that think that uh, place our attention solely on the love of one person. Here, uh, now, I'm uh, once again going to read the lyrics of a song, not sing it. Uh, the lyrics are from Leona Lewis's You Are the Reason. But you'll see how it's focused on a person that um, uh, she's met. There, uh, she says, There goes my heart beating, because you are the reason. I'm losing my sleep. Please come back now. And then her chorus goes like this. I'd climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I've broken. Oh, because I need you to see that you are the reason. Well, here her attention focused on just one person, uh, one human in this world that uh, she wishes to uh, be close to. But our relationship with the Lord is far deeper than that. One person who is with us in all things, but he's with us through the length of of our years for God's love is not just uh, for a fleeting moment and not just for uh, uh, an experience or two but for multiple experiences where he promises to lead us as Christians brothers and sisters and here now I refer once again to Psalm 136 reading verse 1 but then picking it up after that oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever now verse 16 to him who led his people through the wilderness, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who smote great kings, for his steadfast love endures forever. And slew famous kings, for his steadfast love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his steadfast love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his steadfast love endures forever. And gave their land as a heritage, for his steadfast love endures forever. A heritage to Israel, his servant, for his steadfast love endures forever. God's steadfast love is with you, and it's with me. And even though you may not have had these experiences with kings or wilderness wanderings, my guess is you've had similar things in your life too, where God has brought you through. And all of these are just part of his great exhibition of his love for you. You may not have wandered through the wilderness like the Israelites, but perhaps at times you've wandered too, and you've wondered, Lord, where are you leading me? And then he leads you into green pastures and by still waters, and something opens up that you hadn't experienced before or hadn't thought of before, and all this shows that God loves you and he loves me. Maybe you haven't uh, seen great kings smoted, but my guess is you've seen things that have been stacked against you. Maybe at the office, maybe at the home, maybe uh, it's a temptation that has been hard on your soul. And yet, God has pushed that out of the way. And you can give thanks for that because it's an illustration of his steadfast love for you. And then, a land is a heritage a heritage to his servants. Here, a place where God leads us and brings us ultimately where we can rejoice with him for eternity. All of this is a sign that God loves you and he loves me. His love is deep. His love is rich. His love is steadfast, always enduring. And we've seen he shows that through his creation through the ways that he converts us and brings us to himself and the ways that he pushes things aside in our world and leads us on to a better place. I hope you'll take some time today to thank God for his love for you in these ways 
God's love is behind us and before us and always around us. He is steadfast in his care for you, brother and sister. We're thinking of you and praying for you at the church. May God bless you today.